Shaver Speaks fan. For those that are returning to my channel to watch my videos, I, I, great, I graciously appreciate it, guys. And those that are new to my channel, thank you guys for watching as well. I hope you guys really enjoy this video. Let's get right to it, guys. Flash Warning, Season 7, Episode 17, Heart of the Matter, Part 1. Um, we get more adventures with the uh, the Tornado Twins, you know what I'm saying? Uh, Bart and Nora. This is really great, man, because we POW, last week's episode of POW, beat the, the way it ended was just so cool. I, I knew they were going to have to, you know, wrap this up somehow, you know, you know, because we needed more with the damn twins, y'all. So anyway, let's get right into it. This, the episode opens up in 2049, where both of these, basically the twins is what I'll dub them, so that way I don't get them confused. Which are their names? Um, they go up against the real Godspeed. Now we learned that to Bart, and this is what Bart says: Godspeed is to Ewer Bart Thon to what Barry is. So anyway, if you guys got what I'm saying, I'm sorry if I did that backwards. In other words, Godspeed is Bart's Thon, right? And basically, over the episode, we see both the parents, Barry and Iris, having to deal with Bart's impulsiveness. You know. And he runs off one time when they decided, when they kept benching him, you know, as they were going up against the Godspeed army. And the reason that is is just because, like I said, he's just impulsive. He just acts. He doesn't really think. He just reacts. So he almost he gets himself into a lot of danger almost, you know, practically getting himself killed. You know what I'm saying? And that's part of the reason how the, actually how the whole episode opened up, you know. Nora basically is grilling him because he's just being so impulsive. He's just rushing into action to kick ass and he practically gets himself killed. So... In the opener, you know, you see both of them racing off, you know, to get Godspeed. And he's distracted. You know, they're arguing enough that to where Godspeed runs off and goes to the Flash Museum. He uses the Cosmic Treadmill, and then that's how the episode opens up. Um, Chester gets, you know, finishes his father's blueprints. Uh, the C is what they called it. I think it's called the Sonic Encryption Energy Field, or whatever you want to call it. And so it's called the C. And so... um. They think that's the number one thing that can stop the Godspeed army, which is pretty much true. Now, throughout the episode, you see the rebel Godspeed said, give us the adversary or otherwise, you know, we'll kill him or we'll kill you. You know, the whole gist, the whole bad guy gist. Um, to which I said earlier that I mentioned, Godspeed is Bart's thong. So when during the episode, when Bart gets benched by his parents and Nora backs it, he races, he races off and Nora races after him. He talks with him. To which Bart says, look, Uncle Jay was the only person that really understood me, you know, and because in their time, Uncle Jay is actually dead. Now, mind you, Team Flash doesn't know about this, but, you know, Bart really wants to tell him, but Nora tells him otherwise, like, no, you can't do that. And also, Nora knows about the other Nora as well. And so she's much different now as well. And also we learn, we get a return from Jay Garrick. He gets his feedback given... Uh, the return of the Speed Force. He races off to go help Barry. Joan telling him, hey, be careful. But before he actually leaves, he gets attacked by a bunch of Godspeeds. And he practically gets off to himself. And Bart rushes in to help Jay. Because, just because, you know, he's simply in his time, in their time, Jay Garrick is not alive. He's gone. So you can't really blame the guy. Cisco shows up and he nearly saves them skin. Frost shows up to help him out in the nick of time as well. And so while... You know, Bart is healing up and everything is of that nature, and Bart and Barry's trying to get into August's mind so that they can help heal Bart and stop the Godspeed army. Um, practically, you know, pretty much Cisco and Frost, you know, they agree to stop, you know, help with the stopping the army and things of that nature, the Godspeed army. Barry gets in August's mind because, you know, earlier he was frustrated because he just couldn't remember anything, you know, because Caitlin tried everything. She tried uh, certain options like the treadmill, all kinds of things. You know, not even in, this, in the time vault could they find out what the heck could actually help August. You know, and also, um, a lot of things going on. You know, the whole thing with Kramer, actually, when they go to the FBI and, you know, Adam's there, he said the real Christine, Kristen Kramer is gone. He said she's dead. And, you know, and Joe finds that suspicious. And I found it suspicious, too, as well. I'm like, wait, what the hell is he talking about? Come to find out, this might be an imposter. This woman may very well be an imposter of Kristen Kramer. Or maybe this is Christian Kramer in her body, but she just simply just, you know, is taking on the identity of it for whatever reason she may have. Could be a twin sister, who knows, or cousin. Um, in order to power the sea, um, Chester needed some uh, energy from Allegra, but Allegra is just not herself. She's in grief. She's grieving, you know. Esperanza, her cousin, is dead. 
and she blames herself. So all she's been able to admit is negative energy. And Barry tries to basically he powers the sea up with his own energy, you know, his speed powers, but he gives it too much, so much so that literally he gave a mega dose to all the Godspeed armies, you know? And as Joe and Kramer are going back to Central City, that's when they get attacked by not not attacked, but they a bunch of Godspeeds land on, you know, Joe's car and stuff and things of that nature, and that's where the episode ends. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below, man. Are you guys really excited for this? Because I'm really excited to see how this season actually uh, goes off. And I'm really looking forward to seeing, okay, what the heck was Adam talking about with Kramer, the real Christian Kramer being dead? Also, how are they going to heal Bart? You know, what is what the hell did August mean when he mentioned he's been waiting for, you know, Barry to show up? You know, because once Barry got in his mind, he saw him. You know, he saw the real August. He's very menacing as well. Uh... Dion, you know, Iris is back up, obviously, because Dion was able to stabilize her. And she was able to see, she knew about the kids, too, just from the Steel Force. So, you know, this is all really great stuff, man. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below, man. I love you guys. Peace and love, and thank you guys for watching the video.